yesterday we took the bus from Dalat, which is up high on the, I guess like central mid Vietnam, and we went down to Mune. Um, the distance was only about 100, 130 kilometers, but it took about four hours. It was a crazy bus ride. It was the shittiest bus I've ever been. It's super small, no room, and like the rockiest ride ever. But we're here now. Mune is beautiful. We're staying at a place called Sand Dunes Beach Resort and Spa. And literally there are beautiful sand dunes right beside the hotel. But check out this view. We got a nice pool down there. Those are little beach bungalows. But I don't know if you can see. sand dunes as far as you can see over there. We're gonna go check them out now. It's pretty rad. sand dunes a stone's throw away from our hotel it is so cool we decided to track a little deeper than all the tourists everyone gets out here and goes sandboarding but it's, they're not that steep of dunes so you can see some people over there they're like 50 feet maybe but they don't look like they can go up a lot fast so I'm opted out of that gonna go perch up on this hill look at the view and like look at this How's Leah doing? <laughs> Time to get some epic drone shots. The three idiots that didn't bring a water deep into the desert. I know. Number one tip for coming to sand dunes, bring water. Oh. I feel like normal people would think that.
Justin always has so much energy running around, having so much fun. Oh gosh, I'm dying. It's so hot. Heads up! Cool situation at the Sand Dunes Resort. It's on point. Sand Dunes was pretty sweet. Now we're just gonna grab some lunch. Been hanging at the pool. It was covered in sand. Looking for Leah. She's probably hiding somewhere. There she is. Trek to the red sand dunes from our place. Now it's really hot, we're covered in sand. So we're gonna jump in the pool. They have a nice swim up bar here. It's pretty nice and relaxing. So we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day. Looking forward to it. There's Justin over there at the swim up bar. Full side work. Office is all right today. Man, how cool did I look working at the pool there. <laughs> Might have looked cool, but it wasn't very practical at all. The power outlets weren't very strong, so I wasn't able to actually charge my computer, but it did power my computer, if that makes sense. Got a couple beers, helps me get in the zone. Got a lot of work done, which is great, so I'm ahead of the schedule, so hopefully I'm not up too late working with the guys back home. Didn't get as much editing as I'd like to get done, but I'm gonna go hammer that now. It's kind of clouded over right now, which is really nice. It's, I don't know, it's like 32 degrees something in the day, but now that it's clouded over and a little bit windy, it makes for a really nice temperature. I think we're just gonna stay local, close to our place tonight, get some food, do some work, try and catch a sunrise tomorrow morning. Hello, how's it going? So we will see how that goes. The sunrise is at about 520, so it's really early. So we're gonna have to see if we can get up in time to hit it. on the plan again, Leah? Who did this? They watered it. No, it's pee, man. It's like a dog came and pissed on this. Water leaking from the plan. No, it's not. It's dirty water because they pour it in the dirt. If you haven't seen Leah pee on a bush in a hotel, I'm going to catch it on camera, but it is it's difficult, man. She's like, the, she's like the Bigfoot or the abominable snowman. It's hard to catch her in the act, but I will. You know there is a toilet. Are you sleepy? You look comfy. Does it pee or not pee? They watered the pot and it and it's dirty. We're having a debate. There's a little plant at the end of our hallway. It looks to me like a dog or it's Leah. Water. We're trying to figure out if Leah peed on the plant or it was a dog. Just heading out for dinner. It was a pretty productive day. The rolling shutter on this camera is really starting to piss me off. But anyways, it was a good day. Hello, how are you? Where was I? So today was a great day. We hit up the red sand dunes, took the girls back there. We almost lost one of us. I won't say names, but. Someone almost had to do a nature desert poo. But she made it back to the washroom. So the red sand dunes are amazing. We walked a little bit into the distance past all the tourism and visitors there. And just sat and chilled and it was it was wild. It was pretty cool. It's cool that you don't have to pay or anything. You can just they're right on the side of the street, so you just kind of cruise up and go walk, explore, do what you want. We tried to go as early as possible, which ended up being like nine. It was still a little overcast while we were heading up there, but then the sun came out full blast and it's hot when you're walking on sand dunes in the peak of heat.
Tomorrow we are actually gonna get up real early and go to the White Sand Dunes. They're about, they're about a 30 minute drive, 15 kilometers just north of us. So take the road, um, we'll rent some motorbikes, shouldn't be that bad. Excited for those, those are like the more, the more popular type of sand dunes here. They're, I think they're a bit bigger. So it should be pretty cool. We're gonna rip it up there after dinner. We're staying at the Sand Dunes Resort and Spa, which is it's like 10, 15 minutes drive to kind of the main strip where all the restaurants are. But tonight we decided to just walk the street and find some local grub. Options are very limited, but I think we found a winner. Not even any Vietnamese on the sign, all Russian. Russian spot for the win. What are those? Frogs and a turtle. And there's some snakes in there. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'll eat him tonight. <laughs> we got turtle. Cobra. Snake spring rolls. Should we get some of those maybe? No. You sure? I think those might be kind of good though. You don't think so either? just finished up dinner at some really great place. If you guys are ever in Muni looking for the worst dining experience probably of your life, you should go check out this shitty Russian joint. What's up guys, we just got back from dinner which was pretty terrible. We waited there for close to an hour, hour and a half for pho, like for soup. Anyways, it was... It's about 8.30, gotta do a bunch of editing and then do a bunch of work and we're trying to get up early so I got my work cut out for me tonight. Plus it's Shark Week and Shark Week just started so there's a lot of good stuff on TV. It's hard to concentrate but I'm trying. Tomorrow should be a good day. Look forward to it.